This is exercise number three from chapter 10, and it's a little bit more uh, challenging. As I said, this one's slightly more challenging because we're going to be using the net present value method, and we have to determine the present value. The following data are accumulated by Reynolds Company in evaluating the purchase of 100, 100 1,800 of equipment having a four-year useful life. As we read down, it says assuming the desired rate of return is 20%, so I'm going to be using the 20% factor, determine the net present value for the proposal. Use the table, which they provided to us, and if required, round to the nearest dollar. So I can take my net cash flows, and that's what we're going to be working with, and I'm going to multiply it by the various uh, numbers in the table, and I want to use the 20% column. And the first year, my calculation, I'm going to take year one, I'll take the 0.833, so I'm going to multiply the 65,000 times 0.833, and that equals on my calculator. That equals 54,145. For year number two, I'm going to use the 0.694 times the 50,000. That's 34,700. For year number three, we'll use the 0.597, 38,000 times 0.579. I think I misspoke, but it's 579. And for the fourth year, I'll use 0 0.482 so that's 25,000 times 0 0.482 that equals 12,050. Now I'm going to add these numbers together. I'm going to add these numbers together and that total will represent my net present value of the cash flows. So I take the 54,145 plus the 34,700 the 22,002 and the 12,050 and I have a total now of 122,897. So I've taken that net cash flow here and I plug it into my question and it shows that I am correct. Now I'm going to subtract the amount that was invested. The amount that was invested is 100,800. So I'll put that number in. And the net present value is going to be the difference in those two numbers. And I calculate $22,097. Check my work. Oh, we're looking good. And of course, would we recommend this? Because this number, the net present value, is a positive number, yes, I would recommend it. Now where this is useful is in the case where we had, say, multiple investments, if we had more than one investment, we could do the net cash flows and compare different investments of different amounts 
with different cash flows and make this consideration and whichever one has the greater net present value would probably be the one we would choose.